Hello, welcome to the Doggy Style Podcast. Join me, Al Berg, and my dog Lola on our adventures through Long Island and New York City. I'll be discussing all sorts of topics that you won't hear anywhere else. Okay, maybe you will. I talk about key principles of success, happiness, and we know we want happiness, persuasion, dogs, my life, some secrets, and many other interesting topics. Come on in. Put your seat back. Kick off them shoes. Well, not if you're driving, of course. Take a deep breath. Relax. Get rid of that stress and enjoy the ride. Welcome, everybody. Al Berg here. And this is the Doggy Style Podcast, Episode 79. I'm uh, in Penn Station today. It is Wednesday, Time Out New York Day, but uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll see it, so I'm going to take the escalator today. And that's only because I want to, <laughs> and that sounds like I'm gasping for air. And it looks like it's here. Probably isn't. So let's see. Uh, this morning I got an amber alert. It was pretty early, maybe five in the morning. Yeah, wow. So I'm outside of Penn Station right now. It's much cooler uh, on Eighth uh, Avenue and heading towards maybe Sixth Sixteenth Street up the high line so that's the plan for today it can change at any moment yeah so uh, today is July 18th 2018 said before it's a Wednesday oh and I'm gonna do a quick run Wait. I don't know if you heard that horn, but it just ran across one of the streets. I don't know how much running I can do. So the first thing I have today is the acronym I came up, up with for my own goals. I'm a big acronym fan. And uh, as much as I like them, I know most people probably hate them. Um, it's, it's always better to create your own acronym. And the one I have, and I've talked about this in other podcasts, is the acronym FAMILY. F-A-M-I-L-Y. To help remember <laughs> what, what my goals are. So, and I'll go over this again. And then I'll try to lay out some of them. The motorcycle just went by. Um, yeah, so F stands for fun, uh, family, and then there's another word with F I can't think of it. So these are uh, things that basically are fun, your family, and a goal is to have fun. <laughs> the little dog with a muzzle. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> I'm uh, passing the Fashion Institute of Technology. And one thing I do find it is one, <laughs> ironic that it's a very ugly school. There's a building. And uh, the Freedom Tower is appearing. I'm on 27th and 8th Avenue. And I can see the Freedom Tower. I'm gonna snap a picture of it. 
if I can. And this, I say that this neighborhood is not a bad uh, feng shui, and I never know how to pronounce it. <laughs> so one one mistake I'm probably making today is I wearing my new sneakers or shoes, and um, <laughs> going on a long walk. So probably have a lot of blisters tomorrow. <coughs> And I'm passing a Midtown Tennis and a McDonald's. There's a wine, wine and liquor store, a Dwayne Reed. And a Gristidi's, <laughs> Gristidi's Supermarket on 8th Avenue and 26th Street. Yeah, so the the fun. So one of the goals is to have fun in life. If you're not having fun, I don't know what's the purpose of living. You want to just go through the motion. So I think fun is anything that puts you in a flow state. Um, yeah, so anything that's fun. So for me, <laughs> the... I used to have more fun. I guess as you get older, there's less opportunities for fun. <laughs> Just remind me of the Devo song, Time Out for Fun. Uh, so I'll post a link to that song. And the lyrics are something like, don't remember, don't, don't forget to take time out for fun. Um, I do like walking. I do like podcasting. Um, and do like to eat. Uh, I, I think sports are fun. I haven't been doing it as many as I would like. Um, I used to do more rollerblading, bike riding, running. But uh, lately it's been a lot more indoor things as I'm running. Sorry. Oh boy, just bumping into everybody, <laughs> trying to get across a busy street with success. It's a little bright today. Kind of two cute uh, mini mini poodles and a uh, dancing homeless guy. So. Um, it's fun going out for drinks. Uh, it could be fun. I used to like to play hockey, ice hockey. Uh, having people over could be fun. It could also be boring. I don't know. For some reason, alcohol seems to add uh, a lot to having fun. Yeah, this uh, the street right now is pretty in the, pretty much in the sun. is okay. It's really not that warm today. Uh, <laughs> uh, doing stuff with the dog is fun. Uh, programming. I like programming. So there, there's fun things. You gotta. You have to look for ways to have fun. And if you're not having, if you're not having enough fun, you find just find ways to have more fun. Um, the next one of the family acronym is A for annoyance. So you want to, oh, I want to get rid of things that annoy me. And there's a few ways to do that. One is by not letting it annoy me. Uh, and a second way would be to, to solve them. So for example, if a unfinished basement or messy basement is annoying, finish it or clean it up. So these are mostly tasks that I've put off. And one of the things about the family acronym, I would like to have a, 
a good time balance. So I don't want to spend all my time with fun, but I want to break it up into uh, doing some of the th some of the things. So I am on Eighth Avenue right now, walking, passing Twenty First Street. Twenty uh, First is closed, so if you ever come down Twenty First from the east to west, there's a barricade for school, so it looks like they won't let you come down here. Um, some more annoyances. I guess the boss at work is an annoyance. Uh, most authority I find annoying. People telling me what to do. Never like that. <laughs> definitely been in the sun a lot today um, I might just go down another street or earlier when I say go down I would <laughs> have to walk um, I have to I, I don't have to but I, I'm walking over to the High Line I can't think of many things right now that annoy me I guess pains my body pains I have a few right now are annoying foot I always wondered if you can feel pain in more than one place. It, it almost <laughs> is that I said yesterday there was a proud pit bull and I'm seeing him again. It's cute. I'm on 19th Street right now. We're in front of the Joyce Theater. Joyce Theater is a, a dance theater, I think. I've been there before, so something. Uh, women like to watch a dance. Uh, you know, I can take it or leave it, but uh, I guess when I was dating, it was a good thing to do. Um, the next one is the M for family, which is for money. No money, no honey. Uh, without money you can't, you don't have shelter, you don't have food, so money is quite important. Uh, I used to use the dollar sign security, and money could be a job or just some way to get money or to get the resources you need. or the ability to get a new job is a is another thing so anything you do to help make more money or continue making the money you have is a is a very useful skill so I'm on uh, 17th street now I know the high line entrance is on 16th there's also one on 14th Um, the next one is the Ion family, which I just the other day thought ideas. So I'm a, I'm a big idea guy. Uh, hopefully you've got that from the podcast. And I do like to come up with ideas. I don't implement them as much as I'd like to. But I would like to, as a goal, take some of my ideas and test them, see how far they can go. So it would be I, I for ideas, I for implementation. And I used to originally say illness. So the I would be to avoid illness. And we are now on 16th Street and I will go down 16th. Um, the L is for longevity and longevity could be you know taking care of your health so you live longer having children in theory gives you longevity
or writing a book doing something that makes you famous gives you longevity in some way uh, just one thing I was watching a guy his name was he's a black scientist his name was Gates Gates Jr. So I'm gonna guess Samuel Gates Jr. I don't know his name. He's he's in a podcast with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. And he's talking about symmetry or string theory. Which you can look up on the internet what that is. I don't know what it is. And some error correction algorithm embedded in the theory so and who knows what he's talking about yeah so anything I can do to improve my health helps me with one of my goals longevity and the final one why uh, and I'm on 16th Street and they're doing construction so if you're hearing the noise uh, is youth which is really similar to longevity but to me youth in a way is feeling young looking young and uh, it's kind of a goal to find ways to slow aging reverse stop aging reverse it it probably should be everybody's prime goal Okay, so here comes another little run. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go down a different... Oh, you know I'm going to walk through Chelsea Market today. Uh, Chelsea Market is a indoor mall on 9th Avenue. So part of me feels like I should just walk down further south and then walk up. Yeah, you know something? As for some variety, I'm going to walk down south. I was going to walk through Chelsea Market, but I feel like I could use this uh, longer walk. I could take a subway back, which is one option might be a little less boring hmm you know I'm gonna go down 15 okay so <laughs> can't make up my mind today and uh, I could come up with a better uh, a better goal for why maybe the goal could be to ask why I really didn't have a lot on these things so and just to think of I think it is very hard to create goals and to focus on them but I, I guess in some ways if you don't create goals it's like jumping into the water and just letting it take you to wherever it does as opposed to swimming somewhere and heading for a specific destination I also want to work on my voice technique during the podcast, so getting rid of the ums, the so's, the actuallys, talking with a deeper, more authoritative voice, which I think comes from the chest. I guess I could take or look up voice lessons or speaking lessons on, on YouTube. I'm sure there's something. It's interesting how almost all things you can learn you can find on YouTube and it just takes a little effort uh, to figure out how to do things the, the nice thing about the internet is if you don't know how to do something you can type in how do I improve how to do X classes you could also find classes
Another important thing for me is to balance my time more. I find that I do get stuck on something. It's kind of, I guess I get into a flow state and I want to just keep going as opposed to stopping and trying something new. Like the podcast is very easy to get to just to spend just way too much time on. Um, you know, man, I'm feeling 10th Avenue today. Okay, I'm going to walk up 10th Avenue. That's the plan. 10th Avenue is not very... Oh, you know, I could... <laughs> I could walk up the uh, path, but I, I'll keep changing my mind. Now, 10th Avenue doesn't... What am I on? I guess I'm on it now. I'm on 15th Street. Uh, underneath the High Line, it says entrance at 16th. So I'm on 10th Avenue. It's kind of nice here. I'll take a little snapshot. Getting a nice cool breeze. So the question is 10th Avenue or the High Line? Hmm. Not sure. Feels like it'll be cooler on 10th Avenue, but the High Line, I don't have to worry about cars. Okay, we'll do the High Line. <laughs> there are these uh, city bikes, and I've considered taking them. Okay, we'll take the elevator up to the High Line. Okay, just press the button. Let's see. Oh, and it's here. 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. are the summer hours. And the door is not closing. There it goes. So it's one of these glass elevators, so hopefully um, you can hear me better. It probably is a lot quieter. I can hear myself talk. So it, it feels like I should be doing more indoor podcasting. It would probably have a better quality. But uh, I could use a, a class or something or just a process to improve my speaking voice. And the, the idea I had was to record people on the radio or listen to audio books and try to figure out what they're doing to try to replicate the exact sounds they're making or any speaker you could do I could do this or you can do this you find a speaker you like and uh, listen to them record yourself listen to how they sound listen to how you sound and then do it again and just keep doing it until you start to hear it starts to sound like the way the speaker you want to emulate does. So I'm really putting some effort right now into talking a little clearer. So I think just an effort, it could be a habit on how and, and how to resonate with your voice. I could talk a little deeper, so I'm trying to get some lower sounds right now. It might sound silly. Yeah, so the whole time balance, the way I do it, and I've mentioned this before, I'll just say it again, I have a, a list system where I can create lists. So I just have a list of different tasks or different goals. And then within each of those items, I can create a sub list. And so first I randomly select the list of goals or things I wanna balance my time with. And then, then I do it again and you could do this in Excel pretty easy to do if you have any kind of Excel skills and I'm trying to get it this is some of the habits that I'm trying to get uh, to do so I have a idea for a plan do post mortem loop so that would mean I would plan my next time frame I would at the end of the time frame, do a post mortem, which just means 
review what I did, did I accomplish what I was trying to do, and then just keep doing that. And it could be on an hour cycle. Uh, you know, I've stopped getting alarms at work and I think I could, I don't know, can I set one up? I could probably set one up to get myself an alarm at work. Might be useful, see if it works. I mean, it doesn't seem like the my alarms have been that bad lately. Uh, there was a problem with them at one point where, the, where they would replicate themselves, but I did fix that bug, it, it appears. Okay, so just in terms of lo longevity, and I mentioned this one before, and these are things I could look up on Google, and I will, I'll post a link to, to whatever Google comes. One nice thing about my system that I create my lists with is that I can, I have like a tag that if I put a less than G colon some text uh, greater than sign, it'll turn that into a Google search or in any list if I just put parenthesis G parenthesis at the very end of the list you can click that for a Google search so how to slow and stop the aging process uh, the only thing I have right now is low calorie diet it seems to be the only thing uh, hopefully as uh, time goes on years go by there'll be more techniques uh, more drugs, more whatever that can help. Uh, the next question is, should I go to a company called Path Medical? Now, this is supposedly an anti-aging doctor. Um, don't remember his name. <laughs> but he has a radio show in New York City. Dr. Braverman. And uh, I, I kind of looked at some reviews and it just seemed like it was a little scammy that just charge you an arm and a leg basically to buy his own vitamins. So I don't know if I really want to do it. I don't feel like getting ripped off, but he, you know, if you promise somebody youth, people will pay for it. Um, I could also, in terms of youth, I could go for different procedures. There's a lot of procedures these days. I just saw one the other day. It seems to be a. I passed the store. It said something, but it's uh, instead of giving you hair transplants, it looks like they give you like tattoos that looks like hair. So you might have like a shaven head, but you'll see little black dots. I've never seen anybody with it, but it could be because it looks so good that you don't notice it. I do have to make an appointment. With my uh, with my endocrinologist, I made an appointment a couple of months ago, and uh, I sat in the office for a very long time. But one of the things that's important to make the first appointment because it seems like she's very bad at getting people through, and so the earlier I come, the lower the uh, lower the weight should be. I could also find try and find another one, see if I like that person. Um, I also wanted to follow, there was a doctor, can't remember his name, that Joe Rogan interviewed. Joe Rogan's one of the top podcasters. I mean, if you get on Joe Rogan's podcast, you're going to be, you got it made in, in a way. So, for example, if I wanted to get on Joe Rogan's part, podcast, I'd have to first get on some lower level podcast, do my own podcast of lower level people, and then work my way up. I'd have to also have something that he'd be interested in talking about. He seems to be interested in health uh, or anybody who's pretty popular. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a realistic goal for some reason. But who knows? You never know what happens. Yeah, the guy will probably come to me. I think he's the guy that he wrote something that I was was the guy that got me to buy a blood sugar monitor. Um, very easy to test your blood, see how your, your blood sugar is. My, my blood sugar hasn't been very good. And I, I don't know if this is true, but it seems like keeping your blood sugar at a low level might be one of the most important 
uh, health indicators. Uh, high blood sugar might be the cause of a lot of bad diseases. One thing I have is I have a body fat monitor and I also have a blood pressure monitor that I haven't been checking. I haven't been checking my blood sugar, I haven't been taking my vitamins. I've kind of been very negligent on my health. So I, I say the time balance, I, I, it might even be better to do it by week, um, by day, like each day of the week might be a certain focus of the family acronym, like, so family is six letters, so I would focus on one of the letters each day, and then one day I'd be off, could be my Sabbath or Saturday. And I, I do want to finish unfinished tasks. I find this is an issue that causes stress in some way is that it doesn't feel like I'm making progress. So that, that's really a top goal of mine to kind of start finishing, kind of, to find these not only uh, unfinished tasks, but small tasks, small unfinished tasks. So I could think of, I started painting my fence two years ago, and there's a whole bunch of them. And uh, I would like to finish them. I, just a lot of little things that I just have avoided that I really do want to finish. So I'm going to try to put that up on my... Oh, so the F in family could be finish. Oh, I like that. That could be the, one of the most important things I've said on this podcast or well, my podcasts. So the F also means finish. <coughs> One of the other very, seems to me, very important task is that I seem to be waiting a lot since I, I run software queries or on databases and our database is really slow. I guess I could try to find ways to speed up the database also, so that should be part of this goal. But just um, having things to do while the system is slow and a better way to be told it's my task is done is important. I know uh, yesterday I was running, rerunning my major deck of uh, PowerPoint slides I generate each month, and I made a mistake uh, that I didn't generate what's called the quick deck, and I should put a warning if it's before a certain date. I don't really want to generate a full deck. And also it was stopping with a, okay, like I was, I said generate everything and it, after it generated one thing, it said, okay, do you want to, it was done, but it should have just uh, continued going. Yes, yeah, so I would like a system, matter of fact, with the query runs and once it detects, or it could do a lookup and see how long it takes on average, and based on that, figure out what I should do in the meantime. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. <coughs> oh, I missed some things in my uh, health. Was to read some of the health books I have. I have a lot of health books. I will order them, prioritize them, <laughs> and start reading one. I've also been thinking I wanted to do a little bit more meditation. And I think it's this three to 10 minutes per day. Sh isn't that hard. Should be able to find the time. And then I also want to try a fasting diet. I have a book by, I think the guy's name is Dr. F Fang, that talks about fasting. So I would like to try that too. But it, I don't know why doctors don't. It's like hard to find a doctor. Another goal would be to find a good anti-aging doctor that was on my health plan. It just seems like if you're an anti-aging doctor, <laughs> it's usually some scam kind of thing. So I've talked about this yesterday a little bit that I have a 
what's called a stand-up alarm. And just to go over, it's the idea is that you shouldn't be sitting all day long. It's very unhealthy. You'll live two years less if you if you sit so much, and you'll have seven years of your life will be with a lack of health. As I'm carefully walking down the stairs down the High Line, I was just uh, just finished my walk across the High Line. Yeah, so um, I have these uh, this stand-up alarm, which I developed, um, and I use the acronym SUA, stand-up alarm. And I stopped doing it. I've been getting alarms on my phone, but I need to put them back on my computer, I think. And the whole point of it was during that time to do a. do a um, post-mortem on what I did the previous hour and uh, to identify what I should be doing the next hour. Check my emails, enter my time. There's just a number of things I can do during that time frame. Take a break, make sure my time is balanced. <coughs> The problem with the stand-up alarm is it just seems like there's never a good time to do it. it. Feels like I'm in the middle of doing something, gotta move. It's just that's that's something to ponder. Or I like the way people say to meditate on. <coughs> and then the question is, should I get a stand-up desk? <laughs> I was thinking, my boss said it was okay. I do have a doctor's note. So I'm not sure what stopped me. It's one of those things. I tried to do it and I forget why I didn't get one in the, at the end. One thing for sure, it will really piss off my coworker. She'll get used to it. <coughs> Uh, I know, I think I was just concerned about something. Oh, my laptop, maybe that it would be hard to use my laptop. I don't know, maybe I don't need it. So, one of the things I do want to track every 15 minutes, not only what I'm doing, and this could be overkill, but my energy. I just find that at least at home, I've been very tired lately. I mean, the other day, the other weekend, I took three naps, I'm going to say. <coughs> and I've always said uh, when I'm tired, is it because I'm bored? Like, if the most exciting thing came up, uh, I don't know what it was, say as hard as I was, if I could go into the city and find something, I would win $10 million and I knew where it was or or I knew a way to make a lot of money. I don't think I would be tired. So being tired might be a, might be a function of being bored, but it could also be something else. It could be health issues, certainly. Now, one of the things that it could be is that uh, one of the guys I like watching is this guy, uh, D uh, Peterson. can't remember his first name. Jordan Peterson. <coughs> and he says by changing his diet, it changed his whole life. So uh, the other problem, though, is he says that the... I'm going to head over and get some bars, it was my plan. So I'm on 34th Street now and 10th Avenue. Uh, and I'm going to head over to 8th. Because there's a vitamin shop hay on 35th. 
and get my, my bars, which could be causing my issues. But that's something to think about. Yeah, so I wanted to have every 15 minutes track how I feel versus what I ate or what I'm doing and see how it goes. Also, I was thinking of rating my work on a on a scale of um, exceeds expectation, meets expectation, below expectation, and then write what each would be and then pick which one I was. So in terms of my weight, it was up again at 171.8. I've uh, up above 170 again, which is disappointing. I'm on 34th Street and something called Dyer Avenue, which is weird. But I'm in the shade, so it's okay. Uh, I did have ice cream last night. We have, I had uh, a chip witch, chocolate, two chocolate chip cookies, um, chocolate chips and chocolate ice cream. It was pretty damn good, I must say. So I'm sneaking across the street right now, but looks like the traffic is moving. Maybe not. Okay. There's a nice view of the Empire State Building and B&H photo, so I'll take a quick snapshot of it Yeah, and then I, I felt like I ate okay. I had a Trader Joe's chicken dinner, which wasn't that many calories. I didn't really eat a lot, besides the ice cream. And I walked one way, so I did walk. And um, this morning I feel I'm, I'm a little sweaty right now, but otherwise I feel I feel okay. I had a little back pain uh, this morning, so, and uh, the shoes aren't bad. So in terms of weather, it's definitely cooler today. It's still the summer, so it's not as cool as I'd like. But I didn't wear my shorts, as I mentioned before, a t-shirt, less to carry. So my PIM or the place I make money. And I do want to get away from, and this has to do with framing, away from the term work. Work is such a bad term. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. It's my podcast. I guess I can say whatever I want. That the, the framework is just very negative. All sorts of bad connotations. Work like a dog. PIM doesn't really mean anything except for an acronym of place I make money. So at my PIM, uh, and I was going to say I got, I had some hate for my boss for doing something, but it was really, didn't want to frame it that way, wanted to use a lower term, annoyed was more, a better term. So I was sending out, we usually do a double review at work, and today, or yesterday, a uh, co-worker was not in, so I sent out the reports without the review, copied him, CC'd him, and then he got back to me, don't do it, don't do that. So, he's given me a list of things he doesn't like that I do. 
And this is kind of the control, like a control freak. But I do try to follow what he says. If he says don't do it, I don't do it. I actually keep a list of these things too. So I did work on a, a new report and uh, my automation, I have automated a lot of the PowerPoint slide creation. It wasn't really useful now. Uh, I might have to do part manually, it might be faster to do it manually. So, but anyway. And um, while setting up the report, I noticed some of the numbers were different. And uh, I already basically said that that numbers were okay. Oh wait, did I? Yes, I did. Uh, it turns out the old file was never updated with the adjusted numbers. So I was comparing the current file with unadjusted numbers. Any case, my report is wrong. And I do got to get off cross 7th Avenue, I mean 8th Avenue. Okay, it's not, uh, I don't have the light right now. So I did find this issue, at least the boss didn't find it. And I am kind of uh, concealing it. from him by just reaching out to my coworker uh, that we're kind of, he put the data out, I verified it, and so we were both wrong. I wonder what he thinks of, of the boss. I mean, I'm not happy with the boss. He seems okay. But I, I, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, lately he's been working from home. He hurt his back. A classic sign of some sort of stress. So the good thing is that I found it before the boss did. Um, so I do need to get my resume together. I don't know why I've been putting it off. I guess fear, the, the first fear would be that nobody wants to hire me or I can't get the salary I want to get. Um, the second one might be perfection. The third one might be I'll start on it and not continue on it. So I could use a process that helps with this kind of thing. Um, working on a task over a number of days where the first day is to always in a finish then add detail method where I basically write something that's usable that I could send out and then just keep improving it I don't know why that's so hard it should be relatively easy I wonder if I set something like I cannot do another podcast or punish myself by not having fun until I do this. It's something to ponder. So I made a sad face of looking for a new job, uh, but a new job might make me happy. As, as my my foot starts to hurt all of a sudden. Uh, I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm kind of ready for something else. <laughs> Maybe to retire or go, go after a business I idea I've had. I need to ponder this some more on really what do I want to do? Do I really want to work for just another company? Okay, I'm going to go into the vitamin shop and get my, my bars. So I made a pit stop at the vitamin shop pay and they did not have my, my, they're not mine, but they did not have the quest bars I was looking for. So I bought one bars. Oh no, I bought a quest waffle and a one bar.
Yeah, so back to what I was talking about. And uh, I don't know if I just have, I do have a bad memory. I've had it for my whole life. I, one of the first books I bought was a Jerry Lucas, Harry Lorraine book on how to remember things. And of course, never, never did. It would be interesting to try and learn that stuff. So that, was to be, that would be a goal of mine, it is a goal, to uh, go through those memory books and memory cards and all these techniques and try to improve. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing this for 10 years. I haven't made much progress, I, I would say. I mean, I, when I started in 2007, I'm gonna say, I think it was 2000, yeah, 2007. Um, I worked as a consultant and I was making more money then um, than I am now. Pretty scary. So I was thinking how I could double my salary by being a consultant. And I, it's possible, it's not impossible. That could be a goal that I wanted to double my salary. Um, so I could get a job with uh, some of the regulators. There's some, what's, I'm in the banking industry and we have a lot of regulators. And so I could check their websites. Again, the could. And uh, one of the things that's definitely true is that it's so much easier to get a job when you have a job. Because you interview better, you're not as stressed. You're not uh, as worried. Yeah, so one of the regulators of uh, the banking, banks, I could send out resumes and see if they could use because they come and audit my company. <laughs> you know, another goal. I would like to be, I don't know how I would do this, I'm pretty old. I'd like to be in better shape. I'd like to just, which is the why thing. Um, just like to have nice, better defined uh, musculature, uh, increase my testosterone, all these things that and uh, it, it's possible that I probably need to spend some money to get tests and uh, do it myself. I don't know why, but whenever you see somebody with a nose ring through the middle of the nose, I just find, you know, that bony part between the two nostrils, I just find that very ugly. Why people think that's attractive. So I'm on Broadway now, 38th Street. I'm in the middle of the street. Don't see many cars here. They've closed up uh, Broadway on, looks like on 39th. There's a bike rider coming with a, <laughs> a bike rider holding a skateboard, kind of funny. So I talked a little bit about framing. I'll try to do a little bit more about this I help, I hate versus annoying. So if I say I hate something, it sends a message, I would say, to my subconscious that that's different than the something's annoying. It just hates a very powerful emotion. Uh, hate uh, might get you to do some action that you don't want to do. Or, and the hate could be from something else. But in any case, I'm getting wet from something right now. But I hate him versus he's annoying. I think that he's annoying is a much better frame. And to lessen it, he's an annoying boss. Or he's a boss. He's so, yeah, and in some ways I can't blame him. I mean, I would say, what if I was in his situation and somebody, well, first of all, I don't know if he should have done what he did, but I think he's learned that lesson. Sorry, 
run across the street. Yeah, so, I, I, again, I think almost all buses would be annoying. But uh, uh, he's a bus that at least the product is better. He is smart. I do uh, I do respect him a little bit more than... But he, he I, I was keeping track of all his annoying things. Uh, one was recently... He asked me to remove... Uh, I, I've been storing the SQL that creates a report in the report, and he asked me to remove it. So I did that, but that's a pain. Anyway. Okay, I'm not going to finish this again. Oh, wow. I actually got onto Broadway really early, but too early, so I'm walking the wrong way. I'll just see quick. I'm gonna just quickly go through these issues uh, on my list, or I guess I could continue it later. Yeah, I'll just uh, pick up. So, in terms of podcasting, uh, I worked on loading subtitles of my last podcast, and it was it's interesting. Google has a pretty good tool. You can have it automatically generate them, and then you can edit, or you could really type it in. It'll pause the video while you're typing. But to do this for an hour podcast, whew, a lot of work. Um, the automatic is probably a better way to go. So YouTube also blocked one of my, my podcasts, number 73. So if 73 is missing, it's that's the reason. I wanted to do a music podcast where I basically played songs on my iPod and then made some commentary, but it turns out you can't do that. It's the technology is so smart, it picked up all the copyrights. Um, so what it must do, it must have a way to some unique pattern somehow. It matches the the song and then looks it up in a database and tells you whether it's blocked worldwide or or monetized or something like that. So I have a feeling that the monetization the money might just go to the copyright holder, which I'm okay with. Uh, just a, a reminder for myself to work on my voice technique. And it just is going to take a lot of practice. So I don't know if there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but it would help in terms of public speaking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I just got a little angry. A guy spraying the sidewalk and didn't stop when people were walking. But uh, it's in the past. <laughs> that wasn't noisy. I, I noticed it was like a, a rumbling. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it's microphone related, hopefully. Uh, it's temporary. I noticed I sounded better in an elevator without the, all the background noise. So I'm guessing that it's three times the time to transcribe a podcast. So if I have an hour podcast, it would take me three hours to transcribe it. I don't know if that's true, but uh, it just seemed to be a lot of time. So who knows if I'll be able to do this. Uh, maybe I could pay somebody Fiverr to do it. I don't know if it's worth it, but it might be worth it just to get the experience of using Fiverr and getting people to do tasks for me. Okay, so I'm just about done here. I'll finish up this section. So there is an automatic feature of the closed captions where you just select something and it just puts all the captions in there. Um, and then you could edit them. So I do have a question on whether I should even be podcasting because of uh, the opportunity costs. I mean, I could be doing something else. I could be reading a book right now. Could be listening to a book. There's uh, plenty of other things to do. And I've caught up on loading my podcast, but I still have some earlier ones to get to. I need to start listening to the podcast. And... Uh, add subtitles or at least a description. Anyway, 
This is Al Berg signing off. Have a very great day. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. The four rules I try to live by are, number one, life is short and goes by extremely fast. Two, if you do what you've done, you get what you've got. Three, step outside the comfort zone. Four, there is only now, so live in the present. Please subscribe and like this video because it helps me. It hopefully helps you. Please leave a comment as I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Twitter, and Periscope at Alec Berg. To get more information, check out T2Do.com. That's four characters. The letter T as in Tom. N the number two, D-O, that's T2Do.com. See you until next time.